There he Welcome. is. Welcome. Welcome. Um, for this recording right now, um, let me introduce uh, you both. Uh, well, first off, welcome now two guests, um, one known as M Seeker Truth and the other known as Just Tiz. Let me introduce you to Huna Pa in Los Angeles, California, and Huna Watu and Huna Waho in uh, Portland, Oregon. They are the house of Huna in um, Portland, Oregon. Uh, Huna Pa is at the house of Huna in Los Angeles. Um, thank you for uh, uh, agreeing to be here. Uh, before um, I, I go further in speaking, I would like to, in, to invite you to the ceremony of the one drop. Okay. This is referred to as the one drop. Bob Marley knew what the ceremony was. That's why he wrote the song, One Drop. Uh -huh. He knew what this is. And this is a ceremony, uh, a deep dive into the water and into the crystal and the stone. So um, I would like to invite you to <clears throat> take your, your stone, if you have, in your right hand. And I'll take my ring. This is a Tanzanite ring from Zanzibar, from whence it was gifted to me and uh, brought here to where I live. It, it's in the water in this glass. I would invite all those who are watching and listening and feeling and seeing, maybe even tasting, perhaps you can smell everything Perhaps you can uh, touch everything. Perhaps you will remember. Perhaps you know everything. And if you know everything, then perhaps you will know me and I know you. Perhaps we know each other. Yes? And as we know each other, we do know and we all know we are inseparable. What one feels, all feel. What all feels, one feels. So in the one drop, inviting you to uh, to connect uh, all of those who are watching and, and, and connecting to uh, connect through the water and the stone. In my hand on my staff, which is known as the Toko Toko, is an Andaran crystal from Mount Shasta. This crystal here, so this is the stone that I'm using, holding. And I will invite other stones as well. I will share them with you as we go through here. So I thank you for your stone. I thank you for your water. I thank you for your memory. Let us hope it is eternal and let us hope well, we can remember each other, yeah? So I'll invite you to close your eyes and repeat after me. First light. First light. First light. First, light. First breath. First birth. First birth. First love. First love. First stone. First stone. First fire. First Ma. Ma. Ha. Ha. Ka. Ka. Wa. Wa. Ta. 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 He. 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 In the name of. In the name of. The mother. The mother. In the name of the father. In the name of the father. In the name of the child. We remember you. We remember you. We remember you. Tihe. Tihe. Mori. Mori. Ora. Ora. Grateful for the breath of life. Grateful for the breath of life. 
Thank you. Thanks, Bob Marley, too. So, um, Huna, can you just briefly explain to us what exactly that was? I don't know if any just of you, know, but I, uh, I refrain from participating in the verbalization. I did. I've got a little stone here in my in my water, but I just refrain from participation in the verbalization. Just a, moment, just, just, just a moment, please. Allow me to conduct the ceremony and complete it, please. Sorry, oh, I didn't realize it was. Finished. Wait, it's over. Please. Just is. God bless you, man. Thank you. M. Seeker. God bless you, man. Appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you too, Justice. I invite you to come to the stillness for a moment and hold your questions for a moment. <laughs> I will share what happened and what the ceremony is. I invite you to be in the stillness for a moment. You are blessed. We know that. All are. Take a moment here. Thank you so much. Now, I would like to begin as we spoke uh, and we text with each other that you would, uh, you both would offer an apology for your behavior of, uh, you know, the shits and giggles and taking the piss out of me. I get it, it's fun. Wasn't amusing to some of us. Okay. Right. So I invite you, as you have um, stated to me in text and I have that text, for, for to offer you this moment to apologize and then we can do some more sharing from there. Sure. Uh, can I, have you finished? Can I speak? Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I, in order of transparency here. Um, so uh, the reason why we are here today, you know, you could say that it was fate that brought us together on this video. I don't know. But um, so we watched your interview with Dave Mahoney. Uh, the, uh, um, please, M. Seeker, please. I, I'm inviting your apology first, and then okay, we can get sure, into sure, sure. Um, okay. I, I, we, we, we this. Okay. Let's get us let's get that clear first, all right? Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, so uh, I can't speak for let's not mingle into all of this stuff. Let's just get that clear first. Okay, so what, what I wanted to say was, um, you know, you wanted to come on video to. Uh, to, to talk with us, which is great. And, uh, you know, I'd, you'd ask for an apology. And I said, well, there's only certain things I can apologize for at this time. Uh, and one of them being aesthetic laughs. So, you know, I mean, you know, I did, I did feel, I did feel for you. Is that an apology? Is that an apology? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So um, what I want to apologize for was, you know, some of the aesthetic laughs, things like, you know, oh, this guy's got very dry lips. Uh, obviously, as you stated to me, you're 60 years old, you've just climbed a mountain. Um, however, you know, that's that's kind of as far as my apology can go at this point. You know, we wanted to explore uh, what... Okay, thank you. Thank you, M. Thank you, M. Seeker, for that apology of attacking my, uh, my, my, um, to say my character that way. Yeah. Just to learn to invite you now, as you, you did text me and, and say you would offer an apology. I don't know yeah. how you guys are going to apologize. I'm just saying, let's get this clear out of the way right now. Yeah, I mean, we exchanged uh, various voice notes as well, you know, so um, I would like to say I've most definitely already apologized. Um, but again, for the sake of the public, um, I apologize as, as M does for uh, any um offense that you took to any aesthetic type jokes or, or any sort of mockery on that level um in terms of how we attack and approach um going through the dogmatic and doctrinal aspects of teachings in this realm is um something that uh we do often apply some humor to but it's something that i feel we approach in, in a in a balanced and a well-spirited manner. So um, again, I apologize if any of Thank our you. methodology caused you any Thank personal. Thank you for your problem. apology. Thank you for your apology. Now I'm going yeah. to ask you, I'm going to invite you to apologize to those 
who felt abused by you because they also are, are, are aligned to the light and have blessings for you, including these two people here and many who are watching. And to apologize for them, to so, them, well. So, um, I, I can apologize uh, if you guys took offense to our video. I mean, that's, that's kind of as far as we feel we can apologize at this time, especially when it comes to personal attacks on yourself. Uh, um, you know, that, that, you know, that's something, as Justice said, you know, we have an approach. If we believe something uh, may be uh, leading people up a garden path. We understand, we understand M. Sika and Justice, that you are, you're going to give only so, so far and of an inch or a little bit more. We'll take what we can get here. And I'm, I, I'm uh, appreciative for that. Understand that. Uh, there is no need to go into semantics and extra explaining here. The energy is being received right now. Your energy is being received by, by everybody. Doesn't need any, any further uh, explanations or, or comments. And so that is uh, appreciated, okay? Um, and just so that you know that. And um, your, your um, vibration, your frequency, and your magnetic, magnetic field, which is the emotional, we, we, we understand it. We're not, we're not here to attack you. We have, and again, I thank you for this apology. And just let me say on behalf, Okay, as I can complete it here so we can further share. On behalf of the House of Huna, and there are many houses who are, are here visiting, I accept your apology from Thank both you. of you. As whatever it is you want to put across, but the energy and the frequency and the vibration is being felt and being known. Understand that. That's great. I mean, for some of our viewers, um, they might not feel, they might not be on that level. They might not feel the vibrations. We, uh, we do, are, we need might, to not, might not, or maybes, might not, maybes do not exist here, M. Sika. You are direct and concise in what you shared. And, and I understand that you cannot guess uh, what they are going to, to feel or think either. So let's not go there. And um, let's just be direct with this. Okay. And, and not all just swirling around, okay? Your word is your word is is truth, as you say, and I will take it as that and give that the benefit of the doubt. Appreciate it. Though the actions, even though the actions are slightly magnetic, as, as in different directions, but it's it's okay. I accept the apology. <clears throat> Appreciate it. Now, before you begin, uh, and we we go over to other subjects, I'm going to share something with you here. This stone right here is from Stonehenge. Directly from Stonehenge, from one of the pillars in Stonehenge, exactly from the southern door. I'm going to share this with you because this is from the UK, where you guys live. That's right. This was just shared to me on the giftings on my journeys through the UK over the last two months by those who, who, who are with your spiritual communities in the United Kingdom and support uh, the transformation of, of truth and light. This was gifted to me through the Druids. I share this with you because it is a very rare opportunity to share, so I shared uh, what is sacred to your people and the United King Kingdom was gifted to me to share around the world. Understand that this is a very, for me, is a very, very high, high honor. And I would not uh, uh, in any way mess with its, its, its higher light intentions. This was with me in Tenerife. This was with me and, and also I shared it through my journeys through Italy, Germany, Norway, with the Vikings and, and with the, uh, uh, in France, in Spain, in Belgium, all across the United Kingdom and in Ireland. I share this with you as a privilege to see and an honor to me that you can see this right now. Thank you for sharing. It's a part of your world of where you live. And it is with me, and I am with it. Do you understand me? 
Yeah, no, I understand. I appreciate you showing us that. Um, you know, this is this is more than money. This is more than money. This is more than the car you're driving and the land you live on. Yeah, it's history. It's more than history. Part of our past. It's also the potentiality of what is ancestral potentiality, what is to come as being one and united. I know I that. I appreciate the, uh, the sentiment, you know. I, yeah. I, I, I well, I'm sharing that information with you because it is privileged information. Thank you. Okay. I will open the floor for just this few moments with you two to, to um, ask a question and uh, we can maybe do some sharing from your side. Fantastic. Perspective. Um, well, I mean, you know, me and Justice were talking earlier. Um, Justice uh, was saying probably we should open on asking what exactly, um, you know, we know some of which, but what exactly did you guys take offence from? Uh, what would you like to talk about our video on you? You know, this is, I want to give you a chance first to kind of tell us about, you know, what we you, you think we did wrong, uh, what, um, what you took offence to, you know, because we don't fully understand how we've offended in many ways, uh, although some we do, uh, for which we've apologised for. Um, so we wanted to give you a chance to kind of ask us before we ask questions about, you know, what this is you're doing, what your mission is. Um, it might be nice to um, bring Huna Parr and, um, sorry, uh, Shannon, um, I forgot your uh, Huna name, sorry. Um, for them to bring in, uh, Huna said, you know, you guys felt somewhat slightly abused by our content. So um, if we could clear the floor on that, and then move on from there, that would probably be a good starting point. Great. I couldn't actually finish the video myself. I found it to be incredibly offensive. You made uh, Huna into a cartoon character. It was offensive. So much so that I really could not finish it. It was that upsetting. And I'm not the only one. I've shared this with other people. Um, other people within the house of Huna? And beyond. Okay. And, and, and what was no, it? It feels was like bullying. What was Sorry? it? No, what was it that was so offensive or upsetting to you um, in particular? You know? Do I really need to articulate that for you? I think any, anything sort of, any, any sort of, any, any sort of philosophical points that may have, uh, you know, not agreed with, um, your current path that you're traveling within maybe the, the house of Huna and the, the philosophical aspects of that rather than maybe our aesthetic jokes in the approach to, to Huna and, and his presentation. Um, yeah, anything more on, on that side of the philosophical aspect? Like I said, I didn't get very far through the video. It was so low vibration for me personally that I really couldn't get past even the beginning of the videos. Okay, so, that's fair enough. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, yeah. if I have to explain to you why it was offensive, if you guys can't sit there and own the fact that you are in sort of a bullying mode, if you do not feel that you're bullying when you do that. Okay. You just mind it. There's no shame there. You're, you're cool, you know, getting online and, and, and trashing someone else that you really don't even know personally. Haven't even had a conversation with this man. No, all we can all we can go uh, on to judge by is um, literally the content that is put out, uh, and, and this is this is what we do. You know, at the end of the day, uh, I'm not saying uh, that, that this whole thing is a scam. We wouldn't be here if we were that adamant. Um, however, we wanted to you know talk to you guys, uh, you know, especially Huda. Uh, and you know, clear some things up. And I think that's all we're trying to do is we're given an opportunity to clear the air. And you know, if if you guys want to talk about the low vibration of things, what we also want to talk about is what we're doing and why we did that. So you know, we have actually gone on video and we've talked about and we have uh, sort of uh, deconstructed some scams or frauds online and on face value we took this as a potential fraud. So that's where we came from. 
Um, and at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is, in our eyes, from a light, because we want to, anyone that's trying to indoctrinate, and we're not saying that this is, but anyone that's trying to indoctrinate into a certain scam, fraud, or disinformation or unreality, um, we want to make sure that we raise alarm to that. Now, Huna has caught us by surprise because everyone that we've challenged, we've managed to, especially uh, Gregory Hallett, who we'd like to talk about today, um, but we've managed to completely deconstruct that story uh, and literally show that it is fraud. So when it came to Huna, um, we, on the face value, we went in and that was our literal reaction video. We're only human. These were our human reactions. Uh, call it low vibration. We, uh, that's how we felt. That's what we thought. Um, and so I'm not necessarily saying that um, that's completely changed. But what I am saying is, you know, we're sorry for any laughs, the cheap laughs that we got. But actually, the, what we said, we meant. And we'd like to talk about it today. And that's why we're here. Um, we're not, you know, we're not here to say, oh, okay, we're sorry, we forgive you, you guys must be real. We're, we're here to say, okay, let's talk. Uh, and that's, that's where we are today. Okay? Just, just to give this some general context as well in relation to that video that um, we're speaking about, mine and M's video, uh, that's episode six of the Hidden King series. So this is the sixth episode that we've watched, the sixth episode that we've gone through and broke down numerous times um and it's our first introduction to huna whereas you guys are in the school in the, in the house of huna um you know you guys know him probably as opposed to the story am i right in assuming that that you wouldn't have seen necessarily the rest of the hidden king series before that no we've seen them you've seen them okay that's interesting then that's a that's that's going to be an interesting topic to go on to with the whole uh gregory hallett situation and stuff then but um like i say in, in context all of that, this, that was our first uh, introduction to Huna and um, the specific teachings, although I would heavily link them potentially to um, some, some other philosophical standpoints. Um, but yeah, that was obviously our introduction to Huna, but it was, we've, we've reviewed multiple episodes of these and gone through and deconstructed as em said the uh the story there from the greg side of things and david and charlie and the uh the rest of them so yeah i feel like that gives a little bit of extra context as to uh perhaps why our approach may have seemed so blunt towards huna because of if i feel like if it would have come if that video if if huna had brought that video in any other documentary series and not associated with Gregory and Mahoney mm. it would have been different um, however if you align yourself with people that you know we've uh, shown to be committing fraud um, then it's going to literally put us on that standpoint from the start before even watching the video we're going to be like right okay they've aligned themselves with these people that we've spent a long time showing people and actually getting a lot of thanks from people Look, you've woken me up my, me and my family you know we had a bad relationship because of this that and the other i thought this guy was going to be the real king and it turns out that it's not and it was it was uh you know so if if we are coming from that sort of angle and david mahoney and and huna have got on camera um and huna flash got on camera uh, we're going to instantly be like right okay that he's associated himself with David Mahoney and uh, Gregory Hallett. Now, um, me and Hoon, uh, Flash did speak about Greg, and um, and what what he did say, I'll, I'll let I'll let Hoon and Flash uh, elaborate. But he did say uh, about you know I'm not associated necessarily with Greg Hallett, and I if we could get access to Buckingham Palace to close those negative energy portals, uh, that is what I was aiming for. Um, I mean Hoon. Huna, flash, please elaborate on that, if you can. Yeah, look, he seems to have disappeared for a sec, so I'll step in there for a second, um, gentlemen. And we are in 2020, and it is what we call the transparent age, and it perhaps is a good time to be transparent rather than perhaps judge each other. And, you know, a seeker really is someone who always wants to know more, to the point where their mind becomes restless, I believe. And if you're a seeker, you're not just curious, you're perhaps defined by your curiosity. 
and that is not to judge. And as for Justin, you know, we have the, the past, the future, and the now. And currently we have, in the time of 2020, people who are trying to hijack the future, hijack the now. And, you know, if we were to cross history, we could go back to 1861, where the common folks from your land came to America, signed a constitution, the three city states, rolled, set the, the whole ball rolling into motion. Fast forward to 1999, which perhaps is event horizon year, where the postmaster general recaptured the flag. So there's a lot of history here. We could go back to Parthogenesis, which I'm sure you're familiar with, with the Da Vinci Code, or who was the first in the garden. But to be a seeker, or to even understand the now, is to perhaps understand our history at a very, very deep level, and to understand even perhaps since the times of Babylon priests, that things have been corrupted and distorted along the timelines. Yeah. And that we're now at a point where it's perhaps time to collectively come together and bring some of this information and knowledge together and have a look at like, what's the story that's really being played out here? You know, who are the, who are the ones that are standing up right now and saying, hey, you know what? Here's all this that's been going on. You know, what can we as a collective, because we work as a subconscious collective mind, you know, what can we do? And you, you have someone here who has, um, and I can speak from, um, from, from a knowing, that someone has studied this information since he was a little boy. You know, he's gone through the mystery schools. He's done the hard yards. He's, he's been through all the mentors. You know, he's been kicked around, put through the dirt, come back and had to examine what is truth? You know, what are we doing here? And for, and for us to perhaps flamboyantly attack each other for the sake of whatever, you know, what, where does that leave us in 2020? It leaves us a little bit like two parties trying to outdo the other to be the king or to be the alpha. And we're really not going to get anywhere under that circumstances. We have to be a little more tactful, but we have to be, have a lot more insight. And we have to ask questions, perhaps be a true seeker and be more curious to the point where we say, you know what? What's going on here? And the only way to do that is to open a dialogue rather than attack. And that's why we're here today, right? Well, that's why we're in 2020 today, because that's what civilization's been doing for a long time. And perhaps we've been putting up with bullies. Perhaps we've been putting up with people trying to get us off the rails to perhaps where humanity should be. You know, we have a big job in front of us to get our future back for our children. If you have kids, I don't know if you do have children. But when you have skin in the game, the game becomes a lot more real. Yeah. And that's where we're at today. Look around with the economy being collapsed. Mm -hmm. There are people out there trying to wake people up and say, you know what? We've been hoodwinked right since path of Genesis, Genesis 1 to Genesis 2 with the Jesuits, with the Gregorian calendar overlay. And you ask any really good astrologer, we're at a time now where there is a new zodiac coming in play. That's just the way we've, we've been told to believe that this Gregorian overlay is the real deal. That's why they call it the scope of the horoscope. Well, if you turn that around, it's the scope of horrors. Okay. So, um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a deeper story here in play that, that if you took a moment, it only really takes a moment. I would, I would fully agree with all of those sentiments. I feel yeah. like that's, that's predominantly what we do. You know, we combat these things with absolute... Um, not even in your language, you have the word combat. We have the word judgment. See, this whole matrix was founded on letters, numbers, and symbols. See, I wouldn't want you to paint us in the wrong light. We don't understand quantum syntax. It's we can never get to the conversation when we're not winking ourselves through the own language that we use. Hmm. However, you know, I wouldn't want you to paint us as uh, people that hadn't done our research. You know, I know all about Assyria, uh, Babylonia, Arcadia, uh, Sumeria. Uh, I know about our past, you know, and I tried to spread truth. You know, it's the thing is, is our kind of paths don't align. I agree with everything that you just said, but that doesn't necessarily for, mean for me that I believe what, um, you know, what was being put out around, you know, so let's talk about Stargates and the portals and uh, what who has been doing since I think the age of seven, even very young. Uh, so basically dedicating his whole life to, you know, that is very interesting to me. However, um, I'm not going to take it at face value as we don't take anything at face value. We are seekers of truth. Sometimes it may seem like we are 
bullying, as you say, or you know, using the word combat, et cetera, et cetera. No, at the end of the day, you said we've been lied to. And you know, you, we need people to bring out the truth. In our eyes, that's what we are doing. So we are for the light in that respect. Just because someone else, another camp, is saying that we are for the light and we're pushing out the truth, doesn't necessarily mean, as truth seekers, we are going to, on face value, accept that as the whole truth. In fact, we'll investigate it, we'll scrutinise it. And they may seem like, but well, scrutinise especially seem like a, a negative word. But in my eyes, it's not. If you're scrutinising and you are finding a different truth to what someone is putting out, and it is affecting thousands of people, like with the Joseph Gregory Hallett case, affecting thousands of people, affecting their pockets, affecting their mental health. Um, I think it's very important to have people um, who have a critical mind. And that is what we put ourselves out for. And like we said at the beginning, we are trying to open dialogue to get to the bottom of the truth. Uh, and we even were, you know, we even had the stick to come up, come on here and say, look, we apologize for some of the aesthetic laughs. You know, we didn't want to offend anyone. We wanted to find the truth and give a comical aspect. And we understand that that could have really understood from who the flash's point um, could have been offensive. And, and for that, I'll take that, I'll take that. that segue. I'll take that segue. Thank you. Well, I'll take that segue. And um, yes, you're here to find the truth. And the truth is right here. It is here. And I'll just share to reply to your, um, what you had spoken, uh, uh, you had mentioned that I said I'm not associated with uh, Joseph Gregory Hallett, aka King Don III. I never said that. I wasn't associated with him before, uh, over the years, over these years that, or this, however long you have been uh, connected to this situation. Uh, I have recently uh, come into uh, association with him, and I am associated in the way uh, of the, the energy, vibration, frequency, and magnetics. Your truth is your truth, okay? And, and, and you're sharing, uh, understand you want to share um, what you feel the truth is of Joseph Gregory Hallett, and however that looks in documents and however you support this, um, and you have shared that... Uh, He's been proven that he's a fraud, and I have not seen that in any court of law that he is a fraud. Have you? Um, if you can share us in a court of law that he's a fraud, of course, um, simply, no, opinion. Is, simply uh, opinion, simply opinion, simply opinion is not law. law opinion, opinion is not law, and neither is the, the, the court of public opinion. Everybody is entitled to their truth, and no one's taking that from you two. Um, you, you share that. But I would I would say like to in reply to you I am associated with Joseph Gregory Hallett, one part from New Zealand uh, that is a sentimental value. Also, um, as I mentioned, he is now sealed. He is a sealed Huna. His Huna is Huna Mahohi. As I have met the man, um, I don't know if you've met him directly physically. Um, may I ask if you have? I haven't. I, I'll have to wonder. Okay, stops okay now, before you go further, let, let me finish my, my area. Let me finish my area of thought here. As you have not met the man personally, and, and I have. And in that few few short time that I met, I've, uh, I met a gentleman who is excitable, has a lot of, and, 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 and true, so everybody like uh, has their opinion to share in the world to, and their ego as well as you. Your ego is, is pretty high. His ego is pretty high. Maybe even perhaps some of my ego is a little bit higher than forty percent these days, and so um, and so he's he's entitled to uh, his joy and what is joy to him. Now, um, you mentioned that he's destroyed lives. You mentioned that uh, that he has uh, committed uh, uh, offences, and, and and yet there are no crimes uh, wow. recorded. There are, there, are, there, are, there are courts of law. Oh, we we must get that changed very soon, actually. Um, and, and this should be and then this guy should be arrested and should be should have been arrested years ago, but he is not. If and he, the reason for that, like his name and address. Um, the, you, the reason for that is that um, they, they, they do not hold up in a court of law. Mm -hmm. That's the fact. Now, um, I will share my association through the Huna and the House of Huna is because we support um, the the transference of titles and energies from those the, the previous uh, occupiers of Buckingham Palace who are illegitimate. They are very much illegitimate. 
for all of your lifetime, since you are a little boy, if you were born in England, that illegitimate monarchy has been yeah, ruling yeah. over you. Oh. Now, let, let me finish my train of thought. Now, if we had to say, okay, this gentleman, J Joseph Gregory Hallett is a, is a fraud, everybody else in the whole system there is a fraud. Now, who is the lesser of, of these, um, these evils? And I, and I suggest to you that I support the one that can bring in the healers and, the, and the, the light workers and the people to cleanse the energy where the children have been taken. That is, in our eyes, the most important. As you are a father, I am also a father and a grandfather. And so I understand that. And so uh, this is where I associate with, with this gentleman. And I do look forward to either he, uh, he himself taking his, his place in there. Uh, certainly court of opinion is in the public, which is just an opinion. So a lot of my work is based on an actual facts, uh, including my research into his ancestry. Um, so where he where he has uh, presented his ancestry in his documents, uh, they are not facts. In fact, there is no uh, evidence to back, to back those facts. And when we've asked for those that evidence, um, it has been shot down and we've been uh, blocked. So basically, I have presented facts, actual factual evidence, actual evidence that will hold up in court and will hold up in court if it comes down to it. Uh, what what Greg has failed to do and has now disappeared, apart from his Jacob's pillow. Uh, video recently put out, um, but she's not no longer associated with David Mahoney. And if you've seen David Mahoney's recent uh, interview with Charlie Ward, he also disassociates himself with Greg Hallett. So um, what what I will say I've is, seen the video. I, 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 I have seen the video. Mounted, if you could let me finish, and I talk, I talk to David every day. I talk to David live every day. I have mountains of evidence that uh, if you look through my work, that you will find out. That they're, still, they're still not. They're still not that, criminal. Both of Gregory Hallett is they're still not being put in jail. Evidence hard evidence that will stand up in court. He still not will be put in jail for that. Maybe not. I mean, who, who really cares about someone claiming oh. to be king? And I mean, in that, I mean, in that, in that case, in that, in that case, you should be arresting the Elizabeth and her family. Absolutely, you should be. Uh, you know, I'm. We've never debated that. We've never said anything so, along those lines. Uh, I talked to David, and 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 David is 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 allowing the time to pass for for Joseph Gregory to to get past what he is working on right now. This doesn't yeah. mean that we are disassociated with the gentleman. We are, uh, he, he needs the time to get his space uh, as everybody does uh, under attack uh, constantly every day and through his own, own, uh, his own efforts, but that he's still afforded as a human being and a being of light is, a, is afforded that, uh, that uh, uh, ability to, to, to have his space. And he can do that. Yeah. You, just, like you. You, he can just like you. Just like you. He's that. Just like you are. I'm so, not hiding. I'm here. A lot of these, a lot of these things um, have been prophesized, or he claims have been prophesized, and oh, they are here to. I'm not here, here to get into. I'm not here to argue I'm, prophecies and all of these back and forth. We're just about prophecies. Why we're we're here? I'm, 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 I'm you just said that we have no evidence that. I'm interested in what you have to say, and we are just going back and forth between he said, she said, and, and what it comes down to is, and I get it, you're, you're going to continue your path. I'm not telling you to change your path. You see no one here is coming in anything, right? You continue your path. But what, what, uh, what happens with you and Joseph Gregory is, is on your terms. It's, it's not on my terms. Um, and so uh, I can only speak for myself. I am associated with him and I will associate with anybody who can get us into those dark places because that's where, as far as I'm concerned. Regardless of, his back, regardless of when you look into him, that he's actually was from a sex cult that was shut down because of the rife paedophilia there. Regardless, you know, um, um, there, are, there are many people that involved that in sex cults. Which are less you know, than 3D. If you think my, my behaviors are 3D, you should watch the video that um, I show where Joseph talks, Joseph Gregory Halley talks about his family and how vile he is. Uh, I've, 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 I've seen enough. I've seen enough violence in the world in my whole life. I don't need to focus on one gentleman's his what you say and one you wouldn't mind putting on the throne of England. We live in England. I do not want he, that man on the throne. He so is the, blind. The thing but about um, what he's told me. But he'll give you access to the Buckingham Palace, so it's all okay. Let me let me finish my thought here. And what he's told me. So this is what he's told me, right? And I sat with him in person when he told me, is that, yeah, okay, so I'm going after this king and this the, the, the lineage, okay? But my purpose is really not to rule the world. 
It is to help disconnect what the, the last family, the last people involved, to disconnect their contracts and disconnect the, the connections to that was happening in the parliament. And uh, to, to become possibly and potentially become a regent, to be a regent of the, uh, and give back the people what they are owed. That's what he's told me directly. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what it looks like on all the videos and all of the manipulated edits and all of the all of the stuff that's going around doesn't look like that. I get it. But I sat with the guy and this is what I got from him. And, yeah. uh, and in that, and in that you energy, got a few you know, and, I, and I trust that, that, you know, he's got to get past, uh, everyone's got to get past their ego, you know. And uh, yeah. if you have concerns about him taking the throne, um, that's, that's afforded to you. That's, you know, I get it. You see, no, I do have an absolute problem. You know, I, I want to investigate with you, but when you're, you know, trying to defend uh, Gregory Hallett, uh, uh, you know, when you put into light all that I have uh, discovered and put out there, um, and, uh, you know, his actual, you know, you talk about our behaviour, you know, you said you've seen that video. I don't understand how. The only thing that I can think of is your explanation of, I don't really care, as long as it's not Queen Liz, as long as someone else you, is in front that lets me get to Buckingham Palace. It's, it's, not, that I don't, it's not that I don't care. I don't care if he's absolutely vile. It's not that I don't, I don't care, care if he's involved in Peter. Because Peter. I tell you I don't what. Care. It's you, not who it is. And I've got access to Buckingham Palace. Now that is, that shocks me. And that speaks volumes. That this is uh, also the work that we do, uh, is to clear energy and purify the places in the dark places. That's what we do. Okay? I understand. But, now, I, now, I'm not going to ask you, will you give me permission to go in there if, if, if ever you ran for king, if ever you I ran to, to give me access and give, give the, uh, the light workers access to clean those places? If I and could. The answer, to, the, the answer is that you, you won't. You can't. Yeah, no, I couldn't. Uh, but the thing is, if I could, yeah, you don't have, you don't have involved in sex cults. The point is, you media, don't have the potentiality. Of you don't even have the potentiality of that. If you guys want to promote me as king, Please do. M for King. Uh, and I will let Huna in to cleanse uh, Should that be the case, and, and I will take that, uh, uh, I'll be happy to take that with you, uh, but uh, we will work towards the potentialities of, of being there to help your people of England. That's what I'm talking about, and everyone else. Once those places of the, uh, under dark places in these palaces open, they open in all other governments in all other palaces. This is what this is a is a is a snowball effect. So should that happen with Joseph Gregory Hallett, and I would support uh, I support that for him to get that, and and certainly there are lessons to be learned, and maybe you can teach him and everybody else something. Okay, um, let us uh, let us start beginning to clear the to have purification on these places. Yeah? I mean, when we when we talk about that is immediate, like like, like M said. Um, he was involved in Centerpoint, which is, you know, uh, 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 say, well, not say, but it's a, it's a sex cult. And there was a lot of paedophilia in these horrible, dark, low vibrational, nasty things going on. And then we go into him as a grown man. Like you say, you spoke to him in person. I appreciate that. You know, your personal experience cannot be overstated by either of us. You know, that that's a, that's a thing personally to you. And I fully respect that. But um these these are unedited videos of him calling his sister a man how everyone used to think she's a man. i've seen they, some of those they, they you don't have to that. explain them to me I have so seen them. no of course of course so what i'm saying is is that you speak of um what i am at the, at the minute perceiving as somewhat of a well, they could have been, they could have been the manipulated that, those videos are fake as much as my teleportation is a fake Okay, so you guys want to talk about videos and all of that when you're people who manipulate and edit videos and make fun of people. So the thing is, you say that you mean us as uh, editing videos to make fun of people, as if yeah, that's, we're that's, editing the you truth. Guys edit we are not. All the time. I, I can give you the links to any video that I make to show that I am mi not misinterpreting, especially the. My, uh, my point is, video. my point is, lying about Joseph Gregory Hannah. There are many videos that, 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 that are manipulated. You say are manipulated. Uh, I can give yep. you the link to the actual original, unless Charlie Ward has taken it off. Uh, because his, his YouTube's been taken down. I give you the links to the original and you can see for yourself. Okay, there are many, many people yeah, manipulating I mean, videos and you guys have manipulated one of them, you edited one that showed me in a certain way. But there are... I mean, that's again, again, again that video been, there, right? That video there, done, entire breakdown. That gentleman, you know? There isn't a so second. It's going to go back and forth, but 
what is the what's important to you? What's important to you is you're going to stick to your your thing. I'm not trying to change that. No, one no I mean there there is objective facts to be to be said here, and and the video. Well, you're not going. To, you're not going to change edited. my mind. It, it, hang on you're a second. You're not going to change my perspective it, either. It, it cannot be edited. It cannot be edited because it is the exact same length. There is not a second of you speaking. My my teleportation in. video was not fake, and it could not. Oh, that's be that's a different matter. That's a different matter. Edited. I'm talking it's specifically about. If you want to talk about editing, just not go there because this is not go to editing. Let's talk about your video, Stargate Balls, and Justice. Okay, so let's just get this thing straight. You're not going to have your mind changed, and you're not going to change mine either. Okay, well, let's let Justice have his. I've, I've spoken a lot. You've spoken a lot. Let's there, let's... there are there are objective facts to be had here, and like I say, with the video of, of you, not the trap teleportation video, just the video of me and M breaking down the episode six. When we do those breakdowns, there's another breakdown of episode four, I think it is. It's the entire video. We stop it on different parts and then replay it again. There is no oh, I saw it. exact 30, 34 minutes or whatever it is. The whole thing is in there. There's no... I saw it, Justice. I saw it. You don't have to explain it to me. Brilliant. So for me... But what uh, I saw, but also what I saw, now explain that. Now, and you apologised already. So we can just say what, what, what you were, your reactions were in response to all of that. So, I mean... Yeah, no, we, we apologised about the whole talking about your dry lips. We've got a glass of water. You know, we, 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 you know, we, we uh, have talked about that. And we talked about the fact, you know, that you, you said that he was John King the Third, you know, uh, and things, uh, things yeah. of that nature. So like, for me, again, right. the reasons we apologise. Um, with, with this whole scenario, if we go into to episode six, um, I guess I guess starting from, from where we left off, as a nice little segue into the whole thing with, the idea that Joseph has potentiality and we have a problem with him becoming king. Now, for me, that's never really been a problem because the potentiality in my mind has always been relatively close to, to zero. There has been almost no potential for him to become king. There's been no substantiated evidence as to, to, to any of his claims. I mean, when you speak of the court, for instance, the court, his um, affiliation is with the common law court, the CLC UK, which we spoke about in Charlie Ward's yeah. video, et cetera. And, sure. and that in, in itself is a, it's just a t-shirt selling, mug selling company. You know, they've never been- um, in, in We all want to return to common law courts, by the way. Oh, of course, in, as, as uh, if, if one perceives themselves as, as sovereign entities of some description. Um, they were, uh, they were they before had... us, before Parliament. Oh, of course, I, I understand oh, the realms of common law, but the Common Law Court UK is a website and a business. Website headed by a man called John Smith. Now, they've never, ever won any legal challenges. They've never done anything other than sell T-shirts and mugs. This is all... And except that, That's a separate matter, but my point is that... I understand you don't support it. At the, at the start of this video, um, you said that it's, it's not about ifs and buts and maybes. There are, you know... Um, there, is, there is a path to, to be followed whether we follow it or not there is a destination that we will reach as this collective unified consciousness and so i'm wondering how attaching joseph gregory hallett's potentiality fits in with the idea that it's there it's either going to definitely happen or not you know where where is i can uh, us, i, I, I can, de yeah, us to, to I can definitely i can definitely understand your potentiality being better than you are now well, everybody maybe gets good a men chance, better is obviously... Everybody gets you know, a chance to... That, to, that's, to, that's, to, a hermetic to principle. that's a That's a hermetic principle of, of hiring one's spiritual state. That That's 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 an objective fact. Again, yeah, well, you know, I mean, I mean you're, you're saying to me, what's, what's the... Uh, you're, you're asking me that, okay, that this gentleman is uh, 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 like you. He has, an up, he has an opportunity and potentiality for, for, for you know, the betterment of himself and mankind. So do you. But I don't that's have the question to, to become King John the Third. If that's better for him, that's his. It's not for you, obviously, and you will stay on your path until you can prove otherwise. If you can Which we have. do well, what you my, my point what is, you can my point do. is if, if I was to say, okay, and, I, and he I hasn't am been going to he hasn't been convicted in any court, so you haven't done anything yet other than keep telling your story. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll see. But what, what has happened is he's hiding. And what is what has happened? Is, I know where he is, and I know he's not hiding. 
I know where he is. He is hiding from the camera. Uh, he won't get onto camera, as David Mahoney puts it, because people tweet well, what he says. You're now, not, you're not the only one. I mean, you're obviously, you're not, you're, you're not the only one. You're not the only one attacking him. You think everybody? You think anybody wants to sit around and get attacked all day? What you have, who knows? Nobody wants. Believe in yourself. So you've come on camera with me to talk to me and talk to justice because you believe in yourself, right? He doesn't. He knows. He knows we would would expose him. On the camera, you, and, and you're that just, is you're just guessing. He's, he's not you're just anything. guessing, Ma. M. M. You're just guessing. You're just I'm not guessing a, at all. You're, he's just you're guessing of how he feels. You won't talk to justice. You, you, are, you are guessing how he feels. You are guessing his function. He has been exposed as a fraud, and and and, and his documents. You, you, are, you are guessing the most of you Berlin know. You don't really know the man, and he will not answer it. In fact, don't really know the man. Is they've said no. Nobody wants to answer you when you. Who wants to answer anybody who keeps attacking them? And that you know is the reason for being king, rather than his documents and the connection to Anne Boleyn, because that has been deconstructed. Who, who, wants, to, who wants to talk to anybody who keeps attacking them? Nobody. If I was attacking you every day, you wouldn't want to talk to me. I mean, that, All that, that's, a, that's a totally subjective standpoint, I feel. I mean, yeah, that's not when, a, when, when he, you guys he's afforded his own right, and you know he doesn't have to sit around and listen to you. Okay, so Huna, so Huna, what 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 investigation have you done into the uh, actual uh, ancestry that he claims uh, going to back? Okay, to so I was uh, I was just in Norway, right? Are you familiar yeah. with the, the Viking lineage? Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with the the, the, the royal families in Denmark and Sweden? Uh, you know, what I'm asking is the. Are the, you familiar? The are you claim. familiar? Have, or you not? Into, have you looked into? Are his you familiar? Are you not? I've got officiated documents. I've got uh, a I've got consensus. You asking me now? Like you want to tell me? Okay, I'm, 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 re I'm replying to you. It's a shit. What is real ancestry? With what? And it's I Maori. You know what he says well, about Maori? He doesn't want to be Maori. He is Maori, but Let me continue with to my never. explanation. With you, he's okay. never accepted his Maori her heritage. Um, but even with you, he's never said he's Maori. Um, he has always. You quite finished here, trying to tell me what I should feel about this. I didn't say what you should feel about it. I said to you what you should know about it. Do you now know? Let this? me share with you what I just found out because I went to visit the Vikings. I went there. I sat with them. Okay. I went there and I sat with the Vikings. I visited with them. And I met one of the family members from the royal family uh, through Denmark and Sweden who now their lineage comes from Norway. That same family member who, who went to Norway went to New Zealand. And from the King George line, they are connected through the, the royal families in Denmark and Sweden through New Zealand, right? I sat with that person who is of that lineage, of that family. I sat with him. And they explained the lineage, their, their, their side of the lineage, about how King George and the Kingy family in New Zealand, who are royal family by connections to the Maori. Now, everybody gets angry every other time and starts blabbing off and go, ah, I care about the Maoris and this and that. Sure. Uh, at times, we always we say that about ourselves. At the same time, the Irish say that about, uh, about Ireland, or the English say that about English. Everybody gets off on their own people. That's not a, that doesn't mean they should be uh, uh, committing that they should be you know taken to court. Really, do you know what Maori means? Do you even know what Maori means? You do not. Maori means children of innocence. Now, you're not reacting to that because what well, I'm saying is to, what I'm saying. Mean, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What I'm saying is you're Maori too. Do you understand me? Maori is not from just New Zealand. Maori is an essence of understanding that we are all children of innocence or of heaven. Do you understand that? Oh, okay. That means I call you Maori and you are a child of heaven too. I cannot be the only Maori. Do you understand me? Yeah, I mean, I fully fully overstand now, the, the that is the language i mean you do not know the language so that's okay i'm sharing with you now now if he's up at said at maori yeah you're maori too 
he's upset there too. I mean, I, I thought... What are you going to say? It doesn't make sense to you, does it? In, in, in you, this Western it? society that, that I'm living in here, I feel... There's like no I'm such thing as Western society and Eastern I'm society. I'm really interested in what justice has to say. Um, you know. Yeah, yeah I mean... As I, I understand like, it, you're both Maori. As I understand it, you are both Maori. Do you understand that? Yeah, no. Th thank you for clearing that up. Um, justice, what do you have to say on the matter? I mean, yeah, I, I would debate that, you know, is, is defined by... You're going to debate in, my, me and my elders about being Māori? Uh, no, really. no. About whether I would... From my life experience, I would... Whether you're a child of heaven. You, you're arguing whether you are a child of heaven or that you're not a child of heaven, because that's what I just said. Uh, and Māori child means is, child of heaven. We, we, we accepted that, and, um, you know give you a chance to speak you know justice could have a, a, a so th this is what i'm talking about some of these just i mean there's some of course there's you have a valid concerns and i get it but you know this thing is um justice there's some, there's some education here there's some education here there's a lot of education missing between the lines um you know what so, i mean yeah, no, I appreciate that you know what i'm saying you know what i mean do you know what i mean let me give it to you in the lister accent do you know what i mean and who's taking the piss out of who now? I'm just teasing um, you. And I admitted it, I'm teasing you. And I apologize for teasing um, you. Those from me anyway, I, I'm really interested in something like this. I mean, do, do, would you say that, uh, if, if you mean inherently coming from a source of innocence, as in from when we're born, then yeah, of course. we Justice, are justice, as, justice. God bless you, justice. All right? Thank you. And, and M Seeker, God bless you too. Thank you. Justice, what do you have to say on the matter? I just want to clarify this philosophical standpoint. You know, if we all come from innocence of birth, I appreciate that because we are uncorrupted. But I feel like within at least the realms that I have dwelt in, innocence can be stripped at quite an early age. And so if you are referring to me as being a child of innocence at, at this point, or even Greg, for instance, after, you know, center point and some of the low vibrational ad hominem attacks he's placed upon members of his own family, then I, I, I feel like that innocence surely can be stripped. I mean, whether that's something that you're alluding to be able to regain unifying uh, this, this. What dimension are you living in, Justice? The same one as you right now yeah. through, this, through the Zoom exactly. call this here. And there, there, there is challenges here. I get it. There's challenges. You live in, you, you said to me, you live in a certain area. Everybody lives in their areas. And uh, there's challenges in their areas. Okay. That doesn't mean that we cannot come back to being uh, and accepting each other in the higher light and even in innocence. It's not your fault. None of this is your fault. None of it is his fault. But you can go after it. I mean, no one's going to tell you. No one's here to tell you what to do. Mm, You're going to continue but, doing but. it. We, but, with that, with that being said, but from a philosophical standpoint, if it's not my fault and it's not his fault, then there are those who are <laughs> practitioners of certain craft of who I would say it is their fault. And those are the sorts of people that I go for and go against. And again, like I use the word combat. Those are the people that I fight against and, and use my positive energies and forces to combat. You know, those yes. are the, the perpetrators yes. of these certain dark acts. Well, if we don't accept that it's us and it's not them either, and we must all just come into this one uh, subconscious, you know, we are a, a fragment of this, this um, eternal light source, uh, a fractal source. Um, if we are all one, then is it not partially us to blame? Or do we not combat those who seek to practice these these crafts and these these practices? Do we allow them with this whole unification of of pure love to continue doing what they're doing because it's just an expression of ourselves? Your emotions um, are certainly your own business and the magnetic forces behind those emotions and what you feel, what you need to battle so or combat, as you say. And there are those that are uh, that have been interfering, and exactly why the reason I want to go to the dark places and and uh, and bring some light to those uh, those ones who are interfering. I understand what you're doing here with this the sharing of you, your truth and, and and seeking the truth, and um, no one's telling you can't do that. Um, what what I was sharing with you is that you could have asked me first, you know, you could have asked me like for what you did, 
And exactly, I mean, if he's not gonna, if no one's gonna talk to you if you, you know, you're getting up on them all over, you know, social media and whatever. No, I mean, you, you've Gentlemen, talked about openly. Can I, can I been... For a second, you know, the, the common denominator word keeps coming up here is interference. Um, you know, whether it's someone interfering, getting the new monarchy, whether it's interference with the, the innocence of the child, um, you know, two things. One is we might want to use that sovereign, that word sovereign quite clearly, is that sovereign really is about being a supreme ruler, whereas autonomy might be a better word in terms of being self-government and self-reliance. And in terms of interference, sometimes might we be looking at the diversion and rather than the bigger cards that are in play. And you know, I'll point you in one direction, for example. You know, we're talking about kings and all these things. Well, a little while ago, you may have remember there was a charter of Medina that went down, 622 AD, which was the world's first constitution, which basically got broken. And this is the merging of four kingship timelines. Now I ask you, where does Greg Hallett sit on that? Have you even looked into that? Yeah, he doesn't say anywhere. Right. So what are you actually getting really upset about when that's a diversion, when you should be looking at the bigger plays that are in, which is why what I mentioned before about understanding well, history this is the thing. I, I, going uh, on so that we can address the real issues. Indeed. I mean, those are issues that I certainly would profess to address myself personally. But aside from that, like you say, it's a distraction. There are many people that are being distracted and my purpose in some aspects and, and at certain times is to block distractions and stop people from being distracted and from being misled and uh, guided down a path of pure deception. You know, that only causes pain and, and hurt and it only comes from a place of, of evil and darkness. And so for me to step in and divert people away from a deception can only really be seen as a positive thing. I mean, when you guys said that you felt abused earlier from some of our, you know, potentially ad hominem attacks towards Huna and stuff, you should see some of the messages. I mean, even the messages I've got of David himself, you know, he claims to be an 8D light being and stuff, mm. but he calls my beard Muslim. It's incredible. Um, I've, I've got some incredible jihad. messages. Threats, you know, he's threatened. 250 pounds for MC Seeker's name and address. Um, Let's let's talk about 8D light beings. Um, you know that that is that is criminal. Not only is it immoral and unethical, that is criminal. Um, do you have that, uh, do you have uh, do you have documents to prove that? Yes, I do. Yeah. Would you like? I, I mean, I could probably share okay, it. Then, the so oh, up to you. Screen, up though. to you whether you want to have him arrested or not. It's up to you. So I haven't pushed for his arrest, but I could probably. Um, well, I mean, you say that, but uh, and all of this, guys, you guys are, are ragging on everybody and you haven't arrested anyone. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I've lived here for a long time. I have lots of interactions with the police and I can tell you they ain't going to Marbella to arrest David Mahoney. For <laughs> They're not going to bother with that. If you think they are, you're, you're that's, that's not what, what, what I'm saying. I'm saying about that is what type of being he is. And that's the type of being. Have you, have you sat with and the, have you the, the, the David? people? And have any of you sat with David? Guys, We've tried a lot of times. Yeah. Have you sat with him though? Did you ever he, get he, to sit with him? Actually, the, the first interaction that I got with him, right? Check this. The first interaction I ever had with him, I'd never spoke to him before at all, right? He came to me um, after I was doing some exposure on the whole Gregory Hallett story. He came to me and said, I would love to talk to you if you want to when I'm back in England. Great. I said, yeah, that'd be amazing. Brilliant. Nothing but pure politeness. And you know that I can I can articulate myself and be polite when 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 necessary. I did so, it was pure politeness. I had nothing but racism, threats, abuse. It was incre it was actually really intense to be honest. Well let me just but, let me just share something with you. David has said eloquent things about you. And he spoke them to me directly. And yeah, there's probably a lot of BS going back and forth, like anger and, and, and aggression and upset and fighting and combating. That's the that's the nature of the en energy. When you go into combat mode, you know, you guys are in it all the time. You're you're in this this, you know. You want to find the truth, I get it. Um, but then then all this stuff just, you know, mushes together, like what's happening, you know, what's been happening. So it's really not the truth. You're not re really revealing the truth. You just make, you make yourselves angry and everybody else is getting angry. Really? I mean, you may be things to prove. I, I get it. But nobody's been arrested. You haven't even met these guys. Yeah, who knows? Proof, they're not going to push for David. You never met me. me. I would, I would, to like, to, about I would me. like to. You to never met me. Just so, clear up some. You know, you guys. Yeah, I've, I've, I would never look to really get. 
I wouldn't say anyone, obviously certain acts aren't forgivable, but for the most part, I wouldn't look to get people arrested. You know, I've, I've said to David actually, and Greg on videos where, you know, David's offered to, to do certain things to me or act like he wants to, to have a fight or something. I said for charity or anything like that, we could do a boxing match. I'd meet him in person. We could do anything. I'm not, that's not a thing. So there's no fear. There's no, there's not even any anger. I have no anger. I've, ne I've never been um, manipulated into thinking that there's any potentiality that he could be king. I've never invested any money into the story. Justice, I've only invested justice, time in private in a way. M Seeker and Justice, this stuff just keeps, you know, there's combating, arguing, just so much arguing going on with, with you know, back and forth. With yeah, well, I mean, we didn't, we didn't I don't have, I don't, Mahoney, I don't Mahoney, have anything, uh, and Mahoney I don't have a bad bone Mahoney. with you guys, you know, but this is so, what you're looking at. Let's talk on, about on a philosophical standpoint then, right, so if we have these dark uh, energies and these practitioners of certain crafts that initiate these forces into our world, um, if not combating and fighting against these, how is it exactly that you oppose it? Is it by embracing and accepting that that is a fractal source of ourselves committing these acts? Okay, I am a practitioner of vibration, energy, fre frequency, and magnetics in my field. When I sit with you, my presence in your field will warp your field. You will feel me. That is a practitioner. And what that does mean is that just uh, uh, honesty, truth, and love comes from my field when you're sitting in it. And I have a powerful warrior. Uh, uh, I am a powerful warrior being in that sense if you want to talk combat, because that's how I combat. I sit next to you and I just talk to you. That's all. I don't start yelling from across the internet and, and social media. Occasionally I get in with it, but basically you're asking me, how do I know? Because I'm a practitioner, I'm a healer. I've worked with people with my hands. I've gone to show up, show up. I've gone to meet them. I get the truth from being with them and I can hear all kinds of but words. These, these, but I'm not I to interrupt you, but these are people that seek to be changed or have changed. They are not practitioners of the crafts that perpetuate this evil into our realm. So if you go to Hillary Clinton after she's just done some weird stuff to children, are you just going to talk to her and expect her to change her ways and not want to practice? Listen to me. You, you don't understand. The White you House and you don't really them. understand. You don't really understand what it's like to sit in my field or the field of Hunapa for that matter. You don't really understand that. That's it's hard to, difficult to tell you because you've never shown up. Okay. You so only know, I, I you only that. know about talking and you only know about what you see on TV and social media. Nah, I watch TV. Yeah, no, I don't do that. Or, or you but, watch your own channel. You only I'm, know what you're watching your own channel. What no, you know. I, I, I appreciate that, right? Oh, In oh, terms oh, of- I'm, um, getting on, I'm just getting on you, M. But listen to me. <laughs> What 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 would what would uh, Hillary Clinton do with me in her field? Why don't you why don't we make that challenge and find out? Oh, well, if she if she was going to get you into the White House, you'd let her get in the White House. In other words, so you could pose off those. So, so yeah. what what your fundamental claim really you, is? Why don't you practice? meet me? Why don't you meet me? I'm coming back to the UK next year. Why don't we sit? He's got another David Mahoney situation where he's saying like, Listen to I'm me. this many Listen pounds. To me. I do this to many me. boxing matches a day. I'm coming, uh, I'm coming, in, to, I'm coming to the team. UK next year. I'm Stay coming back you. to Europe. Yeah. I will be in Europe, all across I Europe. I'm a 60 year old man. man. I will sit with you two. Like I will win. sit with no, you two. If you two are willing, if you two are willing, and if you, if you are, uh, are comfortable enough, we sit in the field with me. To be honest, I trust you. Like, you know, I, 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 I would be more than happy to do that. And I, I really that will answer some of your questions. I would meet you. But, so I, I appreciate what so, you're saying in terms of let me, let me, the physical just presence. Just of just your let me just, uh, let me, I'm going to stop the questions now because they're the same things going around in circle. Let me just say this. Let's make a date to meet in the quantum field. I'm coming back to the UK. I'm bringing, bringing the, stone, the stone hinge with me. And, and you can get to uh, experience in the physical what it is like. Uh, well, this is, this uh, is my point, right? Okay, so if the fundamental principle of your practice is that you practice such a high level of vibrational... Um, you're just questioning me. You're just questioning not, me. Not, well, wait, yeah. Wait until like, we get there. But my, is, my point is, is that... If, out what if, if this? You, what if, if you... This? What if that? It's not over here, isn't it? No, when you, when, you, when you said that if you was in the presence of Hillary Clinton, like, that it... 
it makes sense to me, right? If you are practicing um, energy transferals of this this high nature, I'm not discrediting you or even questioning that. What I'm questioning is if you're saying that your presence alone could alter her or anyone's state of thinking so much that they would not want to practice these things anymore, then why would you only be trying to align yourself with those who wish to be changed? Surely, rather than meeting me and M, we just no, go and walk up to Brown and try and sneak in and get you in a you're room wrong. with Queenie. You're totally wrong, Justin. Excuse you, you're totally wrong. I sit with people who don't want to sit with me too. You don't understand. It's been 30 years for me. You're just finding out this in the last hour. That's okay? that. So I mean, the... you asking the question, so why don't I go and sit with people who don't want to be? I do. Mm. I do. Trust well, me. What I have to appreciate is that you did really want to get on camera with us, you know, and that is different, you know, to all the other people that we've exposed as being a fraud. They wouldn't touch us. Even Dave Mahoney, when, Dave, when Charlie Ward said, look, we'll get Dave Mahoney on camera with you, he found the first excuse and was just like, oh, oh no, well, you're, no, I don't like what you're saying about me and uh, I'm not coming on camera. Like, you were different. And that is something that I really respected from you, was that you did not, uh, for even a moment, waver that you wanted to get on camera and, and speak your truth. And for that, I absolutely take my uh, hat off. Yeah, it's most hat definitely respected, but I, it's the I, way it's the I, way I that it should that be. Thing, you know, I cannot speak for David and, and, and Grace Joseph Gregory. You know, you have to, that's how they're going to answer. I can tell you, I do support them and I support the higher potentialities that are coming. And I invite that for you. I invite that for you. I invite you to, and, and maybe you're part of bringing that higher potentiality, which but, is still good. Right? So let's, let's Let's it's talk all about good. how we connected because you, um, what happened was I put out a post uh, after Mind Justice video. I put out a post about um, a video that you put out on your YouTube channel that showed you teleporting. And instantly I made a post, okay, and it said, exposed as a fraud, who in a flash, um, here it is on camera, okay. And then you said to me, how was it exposed? This was live. So, uh, so this video of you teleporting, what was it live on? It was live on Facebook or? Live on Facebook. Um, let me let me set this up because uh, you like to set things up. Let me set this up. Yeah, yeah? Sure. Okay. This ceremony was about the the the, the Princess Maritime Skota, right? So that's why I, I was starting my first journey into honoring ceremony for the Egyptian queen. She's the daughter of Akhenaten. She was laid to rest in Ireland, but she did go through all of Scandinavia, and, and she's the mother of Scotland. And she went to, ended up in Ireland, 1300 BC, she left uh, Egypt. Okay, so she's the mother of the United Kingdom, pretty much. So I went there to, to honor her. And so when I found out by the other Hoonas there in Ireland, um, that uh, she's laid to rest in, up in these hills and these mountains, it took us like 45 minutes to get up in there and it was raining. And I just suggested, okay, well, just set up the, 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 the iPad, my iPad 4 and just record it and I'll try to get online and go straight to Facebook and we can record it there. And that's where it was recorded from. It didn't, I, I wasn't even recording on the, on the iPad because the, the power was low and the signal was, was pretty sketchy because we're up in the hills and it's raining, by the way. Bad, bad condition. Now, yeah. now, now, there's nobody operating the camera. There was another camera going around with, uh, with one of the other Hoonas just taking footage of, uh, of, 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 of the it's not got anything to do with that video though. That one was purely straight out of Facebook. Oh, that was just and one so, camera. No. Yeah, that's just that's oh. just one camera. And so, so um, I don't. I, I looked into it, and it turns out it me, was live. It was, it was live. It was absolutely live on Facebook. And yeah. did you do it on Instagram? I told you it was live. Yeah, no, it's, I agree. I agree, it was live. Uh, can, can we show the video? So, now let me let me let me go here. Let me go here, M speaker. M speaker. Now, can you apologize that it's not a fake video? Uh, can, can, can you see my screen? Uh, yeah. I can. Can, can everyone see my screen? Well, I... Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we're seeing the video. Uh, so this is the unedited video of uh, you disappearing or te teleporting. Um, this, was this was put out live on Facebook, people. Uh, and this is what I said, exposed him, uh, exposed Huna as a fraud. This is how we started talking. So there he goes, this disappears. Then he walks back into frame. It's completely unedited. No, it's not edited. That's not edited at all, is it? That's, that's, that's the real thing. No, I was doing, uh, like, dude, 
Where am I gonna where am I gonna edit and do the ceremony at the same time, right? No, uh, no, no, no. What I meant is I've not edited it. That that's the real thing, right? That's straight from your YouTube. You've not edited that straight off live from Facebook on that's my good. page. So so let's take a closer look. Let's take a closer look at it. So this is um just the bit where he teleports. That's it. Um in the same frame. So I did a bit of video analysis. There he is walking back across the, 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 the frame. I did a bit of video analysis on this. So, so if you look closely now, this is the point where Huna disappears. Okay, so I don't know if you saw that, if you saw what was going on around that. So yeah, let's look closer, closer into it. So if you look here at this lady's hand, that also teleports amazingly to her side at the point where Huna disappears. You know, so that, 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 so her hand teleport. If you look at this other lady's hand as well, her hand is up by her face. As soon as Huna disappears, so does her hand. Like her hand teleports too. Um, also, if you look at the smoke, the smoke's going one direction. As he disappears, the smoke uh, is suddenly, uh, the wind has obviously changed very drastically, sharply uh, as he disappears. Um, so here you go, here's, uh, here's the hand and everything moving all at once. If you look at that closely, at the moment he disappears, it's almost as if there's missing time. And if you watch how no one flinches when he's supposed to have teleported, this is very important. Uh, so he disappears, no one, no one gives a crap, really. No one has noticed that he's, he's moved. Don't I mean, say that they don't give a crap, and second, they do give a, they and, do uh, give a crap. Uh, and, and as he disappears, no but one- But here's the point, they wouldn't even know he disappeared. And that's because you he's, understand how, he's how the metaphysics works. And they wouldn't even know that he disappeared. In the case of missing, I mean, you might want to the, study the, a little more physics. Because it was done, it was on the, it was in the fractals that it disappeared on the film, on the recording, like on the video. So there's frames missing. missing, like like frames of time missing. Is that what you're saying? But they weren't cut out by me and anybody that was live to Facebook. The, but the thing is, is, you defended that as you teleporting. You didn't say, oh, well, there's, you know, there's, there's the frames of time missing. You said, I teleported. That was, no. you know. Yeah, I, was, I did say I teleported. I teleported on film. Yeah, so I you're said saying. I teleported on film. So now you're saying it was only on film. No, I'm not saying that now. I said back then, I said I teleported on film. I said okay. on the camera, I teleported. You said, you said I didn't say I teleported in front of them. Okay, so I can show messages of you saying that you teleported. This was live. This was oh, live. Right. It was live. I teleported, but on camera. Okay. Oh, only on camera, not in real life. Yeah. <laughs> cool magic. I love it. <laughs> that is absurd. It was on camera that I disappeared. I was That's still only dying of Corona and dying. But I teleported on magic. film, on the camera, live. Oh, so what people only on the camera people. teleported, not in real life. I mean, come on. It's what it's what people saw. They saw me disappear. They, they did because there's frames missing. If any normal person that was telling the truth would say, "Look, I didn't actually teleport from that." doesn't mean that um, doesn't mean uh, it's there's missing frames. It doesn't mean it's fake, it MC. Bad. Bad. Because there's frames with, missing no, doesn't mean it's that's what you went with. You lied. That is why I said I did not lie, oh, MC. You're just it's you're just supposing because you're supposing right. that frames shouldn't be missing. You're supposing frames shouldn't be missing. That's not a lie. You just told me the missing. connection was bad. Friend, friend, hey, maybe it was a connection, but I'm telling you. It's really bad. You could have said, and I didn't actually teleport from A to B. That's just how the connection went. No, you were like, yeah, no. Nah, well, was I mean, bad. to be right. I teleported. I need to I jump in here because, on the camera. because Huna Pa jumped in after you showed the clip and said that's not how metaphysics works. They wouldn't have known that he had teleported in real life. So he's just, he, oh. he assumed the same thing that we did, that you teleported in front of those people there. It's just that the metaphysics wouldn't have worked. So you, th that is a slight linguistical misinterpretation that could have easily been had by any one of us because Huna Park clearly thought the same thing. Yeah, but it, it didn't happen by you two. It happened with me. On camera? It happened, in real life. It happened yeah, with on me camera. on the camera. Right. Now, yeah, yeah but that, that's I, not I do. You two, you said it you two are, on camera. That's that's what it teleported, that seems like. I teleported on camera. That's where I disappeared. And I came that's back into the frame. That seems I like I teleported on the camera. And it was live on Facebook. That's what I said. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. You're, you're not lying. Now, you know, you're not me. lying. It's just listen clever. It's just my, a clever, my, clever way of wording. Listen for a second here. You guys, you guys, have you guys ever 
done any healing work with anybody. Yeah, hands loads on. of people that were abused hands by Joseph Hands Gregory on, hands on healing work. Are you ever done that? A lot of healing. Have you, have you gone to show up? I do. I, I do have connections. I've healed people. In fact, that's what I do in my videos. Lots of people Now, people understand. What you saw on camera is what was saw, was seen on camera. That wasn't edited. That's fine, but no one understood that. Not even one of your disciples. So everybody, it it, it, it they understand it. You hey. asked the question. Luna. I'm not asking the question. I said I teleported on film live yeah, on it's, Facebook. It's very it's very important to answer these things concisely and transparently, you know. And I just feel like that was definitely a misleading way of going about. Um, explaining what happened. There, actually, you know? actually, I yeah. felt that it was correct. I felt that it was correct. You think that, but I felt it was correct because let's let the viewers thought, decide. Was that correct? I, put it? Was that camera, correct way to upload your video? And I disappeared on, on camera. I teleported that on camera. Absolutely that correct, trip. guys. Think okay, yeah. Well. I mean, that's that's that, that's that done. You know, that's that done. I disappeared but, on camera I mean, and I teleported on camera and I told that's, that's everybody. Fine. I, I appreciate that and I appreciate you clarifying that now, but I feel like it's definitely an easy... You want to get into the technicals? I'm not a technician on those things. It right? was easily misconceived from the way that it was titled so much. Yeah, so you guys edit videos all day long. I don't. So you, I mean, the, you guys know how to manipulate videos. I don't. In that realm. You're talking to a healer. Likewise. Yeah, likewise for me. You know, I, I, and I honestly think we've covered all we need to cover here. So, um, you know, you're I'm talking to a healer. I mean, it, uh, just phone, just as another, just as a maybe, maybe as a closing point in terms and so of. So, as a closer, um, as a closer, let me let me, uh, if I may, as a closer. Yeah, because I think I would I would just love you to clear up one one last thing just before we leave, and it's it's that's, from, that's cool. it's sort of based on that philosophical aspect of your teachings again, where. In the Hidden King Part Six, you you say that there is no right and wrong, only feeling good um, in relation to to all all things, all practices, and those people that are encompassed in this changeover from dark to light, the ones that are in high places, etc. Um, and so, I just wanted to I just wanted to, for you to further expand on what exactly you meant by that, because for me, the inception of right or wrong again comes from this. Um, idea of innocence from our inception as human beings and so you know there is this fundamental um so my my explanation right of and it, wrong my explanation, good and evil my explanation of it justice is is there's no wrong and there's no right there's there is feeling good and when everybody feels good there is it's not a matter of wrong or right when everybody is in that that good place so when everyone when is in people good place, fill up fill up little kids and they're feeling when, good that's can I finish? Can I finish what I'm gonna say? You can. I'm just saying. Is All that right? I just let me no finish. Bad. I'm I'm replying to justice. When everybody is in a good place, is there's no neither wrong or right is needed. That's what I mean. And you know, this is unscripted, so I'm going through just blowing through uh, on camera, trying to be as fluid as I uh, and honest as I can. Now, the explanation. I never explained any of that up until now, and that's fine. I can share that. That's what I what I meant. And that's fine. And you can go ahead and share what I just said. There is feeling good. And when we are all feeling good, it's not a matter of us searching for wrong or right. That's what I mean. And that, and that is that is a, not a necessarily a philosophy. That that is a that is a potentiality that we're all striving for. Yeah, I mean, I, I won't agree or disagree. Yeah, look, look, I mean, that I, was I think, live. I think, you, like, you're getting me time. live off the video, Justice. I think I'm like sure the term I'm sure feeling you don't good. Say, you know, I think the term feeling good is is very subjective, as is you know love and light and these. I've other just terms. shared with you what I meant. Now take to the people what I meant, not what you think. What I meant. Yeah, but it's about whether or not that's a viable. It's, it's not about. You know? it's not again, about, again, feeling good. It's about what I said, Justice, yeah. and you're going to make this out of something else that it's not. No, but it's, it's all it was. That we we articulate remember, back what remember, we mean in the most concise remember, possible way. And again, I just never like rehearsed. It's never rehearsed good. on the side of a mountain. It's never rehearsed. Just is. You're sitting at home. I appreciate that. That's the exact reason things. I'm asking you again. You're taking the time with your editing, and you're taking the time with your videos. I'm sitting on the side of a mountain, I don't sharing actually, with I you take it that <laughs> I'm sharing with you when we are all in a good place. There is neither wrong or right needed.
It's just, it's not needed when we are all in that good place. The, the potentiality is, is, that is a potentiality, okay? Everyone's got the so potential. That's my answer. That's my Open answer. Up to the prisons. Let's, uh, let, let's talk to everyone that's out I there. Never that, I never said so, that, I never said that. You were saying, right, hang on a sec. You hang are on a sec. the ones saying these put it, put it. things, and you are the ones putting that out as there. As an example, right, as that. an example. Is I the said, when we are all in, in a good place, right. And maybe you're going to be the ones to help everybody get in a good place. Did you so when, when everyone is no. in a good place, yeah, exactly. listen, listen, one second, please. So, so when you're saying and you're putting in these things, you know, people in the prison and all this, dude, get into the potentiality is what I'm talking about. So when everyone is in a good place, right, we would say that that is when everyone is not... Um, so I think we've done it. In the interdependent, enough, everyone is, is sustainable justice. for each other and everyone has enough. We've done uh, enough with that question, Justice. No, but my um, point is right. Would you not say, that for, instance, for instance, uh, depopulation was a I've done mean enough. To I've done enough of this questioning. Okay, this good. we've done enough. Let, let, it's time. The last, it's time. Oh, the question. This last, the last, the last thing I'm going to say, and the last thing I'm going to invite you to, Close is enough. to, is this. I'm going to invite you to both to this. God bless you, Justice, and God bless you, M Seeker. God bless okay. you. God bless you. That's the last one. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody on Instagram and everybody on Facebook. We can beat this around with a stick all day long, but we, I think we did enough. Um, we had a good here. conversation, okay. and I appreciate you coming. So, on. So thank you so much, M. Sheikha. You don't and justice. Thank you, thank you so much. Nice and uh, let me give thanks. Let me give thanks to everybody here and and your audience who will be watching. Who will be watching this and we thank them as well for um and for for standing in their light and in their power nobody's denying that i also want to thank uh, uh um those you may not agree with to and, and thank them as well i thank david mahoney i thank joseph gregory hallett i thank charlie ward i thank lee i thank all of your families and everybody who is working towards the potentiality for everybody to feel good i and, don't feel uh, that i do not thank you. any of those people at all uh, thank you thank you from but thank, thank you, you very much. much thank you in a flash bye everyone thank you